Now I recognise we have made mistakes. I'm sorry uh, for those mistakes, but I fixed the mistakes. Britain's beleaguered Prime Minister Liz Truss apologises but insists she's sticking around to lead her party into the next general election. Her newly appointed finance minister Jeremy Hunt shreds an economic plan she repeatedly championed. What we are seeking is a long-term sustainable increase in the economic growth rate and that is a central policy of the Prime Minister which has my wholehearted support. Let's get more insight now into the troubles facing Britain's new Prime Minister. Associate Professor Rob Manwaring with the College of Business, Government and Law at Flinders University joins us now live from Adelaide. Thank you for your time today. Some argue mistrust has made some very basic, very avoidable mistakes. How would you assess her performance over the past month or so since becoming Prime Minister? Uh, well, in a word, you'd have to say it's disastrous. Um, she um, only really sort of quite narrowly won the uh, the leadership race at the Conservative Party, and um, she she didn't come first in the in the round with the MPs, and she only picked up about sixty percent of the Tory membership vote. And she came in really with a low tax, sort of high growth, uh, small state strategy, and uh, she came in with then her Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng. They introduced this mini budget with some quite radical measures, including the controversial decision to scrap the top rate of income tax. And since then, it, uh, her premiership has just been beleaguered. Uh, it's been U-turn after U-turn. Um, she sacked her chancellor really for just um, her, her first chancellor, we should say, just for introducing her agenda, which which is one that she had set. And now she's been forced to find a another chancellor. And indeed, the, the bulk of the statement that came out this week from Jeremy Hunt at the time is to reverse, in fact, most of the planned tax changes that Liz Truss has planned. So she's incredibly beleaguered. The polls are not looking very good. And the Conservative Party, if they were to face a general election, uh, would be looking down the electoral abyss. Yeah, with the Prime Minister facing calls to resign from within her own uh, Conservative Party just six weeks after entering Downing Street. And let's get your thoughts a bit more on this mini budget that seems to have caused uh, such a, fr a fracas, if you like, uh, that's been walked back now. How did she get it so wrong? Well, I think, um, and where she's, as in your intro, uh, also showed is, I mean, she's now apologised in an interview which she's given uh, for saying that she went too fast, too quickly. So I think in her eagerness, in one sense, both to distance herself from uh, the Johnson era, but also I think from the economic agenda that Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor, undertook, she really wanted to commit much more quickly to a kind of low tax uh, agenda. And they moved far too quickly. So that mini budget, the first one that, that came out, there were a whole series of uh, measures in that uh, budget, uh, particularly the, the controversial top uh, rate of uh, income tax, which was unfunded. And the reaction from the markets and the IMF was really quite critical. And I think that proved even more politically uh, devastating to see that the economic response uh, was saying that you just can't have these unfunded uh, tax cuts. And so from that, things have begun to spiral out of control. And then she, of course, uh, sacked her chancellor. And now the, this kind of new agenda is, in one sense, is trying to reverse that. And the onus now is not on tax cuts, is just trying to appease the markets and find a platform of economic stability, uh, because that would be the priority. Ms. Trust says, look, the, the mark of an honest politician is to admit, apologize when you've made a mistake, which is what she has done. Uh, is this going to get her far? What does she need to do to stay in power? And uh, do you think she will? That's a that's a really good question. Um, on my current readings, I don't think that she probably has a great deal of time left in office. I think um, I think it's one thing to make mistakes, uh, and and I think we can see that the record of British prime ministers, including Boris Johnson, you can kind of uh, you can re you can sort of tough out a number of mistakes. What I think is so devastating for Liz Truss is that basically her whole economic agenda. This isn't just one a single U-turn. There's a whole series of of them uh, of kind of reversals taking place. So the budget statement that Jeremy Hunt released this week, for example, there's at least six or seven major key reversals or scrapping 
of uh, tax policy plans that were in there. So, um, so this isn't just a single mistake. And this, I think, is the problematic. So what I think is is so damaging here is that Trust has lost, I think, the confidence not only of mo- many of her MPs, but she's lost the trust or the confidence of the business community and the economic community. And I think that is what is going to be so problematic. And I think the only thing that will probably keep her in office longer is until the Conservatives can answer this question about who would be the obvious successor. And the problem is there isn't really an obvious person who who can unite the party and stitch things back. So in one sense, tr- trust will hang on until I think the Conservatives can find a, a kind of unity ca- uh, candidate. So what will you be looking out for in the next uh, days and weeks ahead that's going to sort of give us clues or an indication as to which way or how her fate will be decided? I think that the next probably kind of sets of steps you'll see is that we've seen already five Conservative MPs have called for her resignation. But I think it will be... Um, critically where senior party grandees step in so when some of those senior figures on the sort of back bench or some of those senior figures outside uh, people like john major so who uh, really call cool and push uh, for this to that's where we'll, we'll see the day the, the kind of game changer and i think what will happen then is that then there will be a push uh, to speak to graham uh, graham brady who's the chair of the of the powerful 1922 conservative committee they will look for make rule changes and i think they will tr- try to seek to usher in quite quickly a kind of new leader and the main reason there is that on current polling uh uh Truss is trailing uh, the British Labour Party by about 36%. They are they are looking to get absolutely hammered, frankly, at the next election and, and could be down to a bare minimum of just 100 or so uh, MPs. And that, I think, will be a huge driver to probably uh, change leader. A tumultuous time in British politics. Thank you very much. That was Rob Manwaring of Flinders University. Pleasure.